So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this was uh-oh. Uh-oh. For more reasons than one. Um, but the biggest one is because this statement and this, I guess, development. Uh, well, actually, lack of development because ain't no contract happening right now. But this means that the franchise tag is a larger possibility and y'all know how i feel about the franchise tag i while it does not rule out that a deal can be reached um it also does not rule out that things could get ugly if it comes to a franchise tag um but anyway let's read the statement straight from the ravens like we already know lamar jackson is very different he he is a different type of quarterback he handles himself differently than your traditional quarterback. And we love that that difference about him. But even the way that everything is being approached with Lamar Jackson is also different. And let me know if I'm mistaken. Maybe because y'all know I have a bad memory. But when have we ever, when have we ever saw a statement from a team saying, oh, we, we couldn't come to a contract agreement with our quarterback? When have we ever seen that? I, I I don't recall ever seeing but hey, may, maybe I just, maybe I don't know. Maybe I missed something. But anyway, let's read the statement straight from the Ravens, straight from Eric DaCosta. Despite best efforts on both sides, we were unable to reach a contract extension with Lamar Jackson. We greatly appreciate how he has handled this process, and we are excited about our team with Lamar leading the way. We will continue to work towards a long-term contract after the season, but for now, we are looking forward to a successful 2022 campaign and that is straight from eric da costa ah i don't know man I, I i i don't know i don't know i um it's gonna be a year <laughs> this is certainly gonna be a year um hey it's it's gonna be very interesting and, and now like since they see what, what one thing that i wonder is all right, it's 2022, we're going into week one. Shout out to Lamar for keeping his word, because Lamar did say, he said it on August 13th, like, hey, it's a deadline, and either by this, going into week one, he said we either are going to have a deal or we're not. He said, that's it, I ain't going to be talking after that. And then a couple days ago, in the presser, he clarified it. He said, hey, Friday, Friday, if we got a deal done by Friday, okay, cool. If we don't, okay, cool. But Friday is the deadline. He made it clear, crystal clear, that Friday was the deadline. Now that deadline hasn't been reached. Okay, shout out to Lamar for keeping his word. But um, what I wonder and what I'm thinking about is if the Ravens didn't give Lamar Jackson a contract, they, they couldn't come to an agreement with Lamar Jackson on a contract now, when the price is is high, but it's as low as it's going to get now. What's going to happen a year from now? What's going to happen after this season? What's going to happen when the price continues to go up? What's going to happen? That, that's the thing that I'm wondering right now. This is why this is an uh-oh to me. This is why this, this worries me. Because... I'm not even, not, I ain't concerned about the immediate future. I ain't, I ain't concerned about this season. I'm concerned about beyond this season. W what this is going to do and what this is going to mean and what type of impact this is going to have on this whole thing moving forward in the long term. Now, obviously, this season is still important. And with Lamar betting on himself, um, I ain't mad at it at all. Because, hey, Lamar playing the game and... I do appreciate the fact that he did not and is not settling because a lot of people, when that pressure's put on them, they could say this and that about, oh man, well, I'm, they could say all this stuff. But when that pressure's put on them, then they could flip the script. They could be like, oh, well, uh, yeah, it was a little pressure, whatever. Oh, they offered me something decent. It wasn't what I wanted, but I took it anyway. But Lamar said, no, I'm not budging. I'm not budging. So. He has, apparently has what dollar amount he wants, whether it's guaranteed money, average per year, whatever it may be. 
he has that in mind. And apparently Ravens, they have what they had in mind that they offered him. But the two sides couldn't agree. And again, this is all part of contract negotiations. This is all contract negotiations. The push, the pull, the compromise. We talked about it in the previous video. Not Both sides don't win. Both sides don't win in contract negotiations. But whichever, whichever side wins, then they, were, they ended up getting a, ha having a compromise less than the other side did. But, hey, <clears throat> Lamar and the Ravens, they, nobody won because they riding this thing out. Whew. <laughs> wow. So now the 2022 season. Um, Lamar Jackson was already, like y'all already know, he was already one of the most heavily scrutinized, criticized quarterbacks before. Oh, you thought he was heavily scrutinized, criticized, overanalyzed before? This season, I guarantee you, I promise you, that it will be 20 times more. It'll be 20 times more. And at every single segment, every single ESPN, every single NFL network, Fox Sports, FS1, this and that, wherever you get your sports information from via the TV and cable and stuff like that. But I guarantee you, every single segment, whether positive or negative, you know, there's probably going to be a lot more negative because you know how people get. But every single segment is going to be, does he deserve it? Based off of this play, based off of this game. Oh, the Ravens shouldn't have done it. Oh, the Ravens should have done it. But now, hey, it's time. It's time. Like Russell Wilson said, let's ride. Let's ride. And, and Ravens and Lamar, they riding this thing out. Fifth year option. Wow. Lamar Jackson playing on the fifth year option. Mm. After everything. That he's accomplished everything that he's done for this Ravens team. They letting this thing play itself out. And hey, hopefully it will be a beautiful thing if after this season he could hit Bashadi with that. That Joe Flacco knock on the door. All right. We tried before. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. But then again, see, I, I just. I don't know, man. I, I, that's what I'm hoping happens, though. That's what I'm hoping happens. I'm, I'm hoping that, because in, in my opinion, there, there's already no question that he should be paid. There's obviously no, there's no question, no doubts at all that Lamar Jackson should be paid. His money should be his money. He has far exceeded everything. He's definitely exceeded everything for everything that he has done for these Baltimore Ravens. Again, they made a lot of money off of him. A lot of money. We know it's a, it's a team effort. Well, <laughs> they made a lot of money off of Lamar Jackson. A whole lot. But now that it's, it was time for him to make money off of them, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So now we wait. Now we wait. And so now, uh, yeah. We're going to get through these 17 games, uh, get, hopefully get to the playoffs. I mean, that's the expectation, but they still got to make it happen. But, and it's, what's crazy too, every game, man, every game, the price is going to go. The, like, the price is not, for, I, I know there's a lot of people out there thinking, like, oh, man, if Lamar Jackson goes out there and has a bad season, ha -ha, his price is going down. It's not. It's not. His price is only going to go up from here. And that's what we've been saying for the longest. His price is only going up. I know people think, oh, man, if, if he doesn't go out there and have an MVP type season and that price is going down, if he doesn't go out there, win several playoff games and that price is going down, if he doesn't go out there, win a Super Bowl, that price is going down. No, it's not. It's not. Do y'all realize what the quarterback market is? Do y'all realize what the quarterback market does and how it moves and how it operates? 
Do you realize that? That man's price is going to continue to go up. And then, like, based off of Lamar Jack, y'all know who he is. And y'all know what he does. So you know he's going to come through this year. As long as Lamar Jackson healthy. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> you already know, man. That price is going to go up. And, and don't mess around. Like, I don't know who's due for a deal. I know Burrow and um and I think Herbert and, and Tua, uh, after this year, they they are eligible. But I'm trying to think if it's anybody else that's eligible like right now who could help sort of shift the market. I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. But my point is, if another quarterback gets paid, then another quarterback gets paid and it's it's only going to continue to make his price skyrocket. Price ain't going down. It's not going down. And I know we see it in the comment section all the time. Shout out to Fat Joe, by the way. Yesterday's price is not today's price. We've been saying this all off season, man. All off season. And even last year, like this, this whole offseason has been crazy for me because I've been so back and forth with this whole Lamar Jackson thing. Because as soon as this season ended uh, and all this contract talks started coming up again, my thoughts on it initially were, no, nah, ain't no deal happening this offseason. No way, Jose. Nah, it ain't going down. Because if, if Lamar takes a contract right now, he could. He could take a contract and it'd be a nice amount of money. But it would be, a lot of it would be based off of last year. It'd be based off previous year too, but a lot of it would be based off of last year. And the Ravens could be like, look what you did last year. Look at how that was. Look at your numbers and stuff. Da, da, da. I mean, even though Lamar could be like, hey, look at, look at the wins. Look at what y'all did with me. Look at what y'all did without me too. Look at my supporting cast and all that. And da, 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 da. But anyway, he could have taken a deal. But I, I was like, no, it, it's not happening this offseason. Nope. But then there was a presser that changed my mind. There was a presser that happened um, early in training camp. And I was thinking, wow, it, it really sounds like a Lamar Jackson and Ravens deal is around the corner. Because they talked about how they were talking and negotiating and stuff. And just some of the phrases that Lamar was using and whatnot. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Then there was a part where uh, with John Harbaugh and I think Bashadi, while he was talking, they, they, were, they were actually watching that presser live from the balcony and stuff. I was thinking, hmm. Interesting. They don't normally do that, but whatever. Um, so that really changed my mind. I was thinking, okay, maybe they will get this thing done. And then every presser, when 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 we would hear Lamar Jackson speak, I was like, oh yeah, this negotiation is definitely being done because it's being done privately, but here in the pressers, it's being done publicly. And Lamar Jackson continued to show that he knows that his word holds so much weight, and he knew the power power that he had in his word. Or really in, every, in, in everything that he does. Because everybody is watching it. And everybody's analyzing it and, and trying to figure out what stuff means. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, hey, maybe this thing will get done. And then in the most recent presser, it's it kind of like, ooh, I, I don't know. Then it had a lot of us thinking, oh, well, maybe the Ravens, maybe they actually got a deal in place already. And they just trolling. They just waiting on Friday to announce it. But this was the announcement. This was the announcement. So... No deal. Hey, we're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, because something to always remember. <clears throat> what you won't pay, somebody else will. Somebody else will. And you know the, the Ravens know this. Lamar Jackson also knows this. Both sides know this. Now, we remember the, the other day um, with Lamar Jackson in, in that interview uh, with uh, DraftKings. He um he talked about how um he was just trolling. He was just trolling. He wants to be in Baltimore and all that, and, and that's great. We love that he wants to stay with the Ravens. But like I said in that video, and like I said in times past too, that's great. We love that he wants to be <laughs> all of us. Right? Ra well, not all Ravens fans. There's some like get Lamar out of here. But anyway, most of us Ravens fans want Lamar Jackson to continue to remain a Baltimore Raven for the foreseeable future. But just because he wants to be with the Ravens, just because his fans want him to continue being with the Ravens, and even if Eric McCoste and them, they want him to continue to be a Raven, a deal still has to be done. They still had to make this thing happen. I can be working at a job 
And this job, hey, again, I've been working there for four, the past four years. And I've been doing a lot for the company, and I am severely underpaid. I am very underpaid. And it's time for me to get my raise. All right, fifth year's raise time. All right, let's go, baby. Hey, I love this company. This company, they are so nice to me. They treat my family and friends with respect. Uh, I'm always welcome here. It's such a good vibe. It's just such a great community. I built a lot of friendships here. Got a lot of, a lot of excellent colleagues and whatnot. I love my job. Love the people that I work with. I love it. Man, I want to be here for a long time. Oh, but, oh, oh, y'all don't want to pay me? Oh, oh y'all, that, that's the raise that y'all are offering me? Oh, what? Let's keep talking about it. But if we can't come to something that I know that I'm worth, then I'm out. <laughs>